breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. <laughs> Sessions out. Sessions. Jeff Sessions resigns. Out. Get out. You're fired. I right, fucker, you're fired. He wasn't fired. <clears throat> In a letter today, Office of, it's official. They got the letter. They already published the letter. So it's a, uh, Office of the Attorney General addressed Donald J. Trump. Dear Mr. President, at your request, I am submitting my resignation. Wow. <laughs> wow, shit's getting hot, man. Starting, shit is starting to heat up, man. So who's going to replace him? Let's talk about that. I'll keep it brief because it's not, it's not really like that exciting. But it's interesting. It, we'll see what happens. I, I mean, I th it is very interesting. What am I talking about? Matthew G. Wittertake. Sessions uh, chief of staff will become acting attorney general and notably he'll he'll also oversee the Russia investigation <laughs> Russia investigation is now over you can call that shit over which the president often refers to as a witch hunt <laughs> All right. before he joined uh, the Department of Justice would take road an opinion for CNN in August 2017, 17, criticizing the event investigation by Special Counsel Robert Mueller, Whittaker, <laughs> fucking names, Whittaker argued that Mueller could not investigate the Trump family finances. This is what he said. It does not take a lawyer or even a former federal prosecutor like myself to conclude that the investigating that investigating Donald Trump's finances or his family's finances falls completely outside the realm of his 2016 campaign and allegations that the campaign coordinated with the Russian government or anyone else. That goes beyond the scope of the appointment of a special counsel, Whittaker wrote. Any investigation into President Trump's finances or finances of his family would require Mueller to return to Rod Rosenstein for additional authority on the Mueller's appointment as special counsel. Would take her also, also, whatever. So, so here's the guy that's going to take over who's a Trump, uh, is, it believes or is on the record as saying that uh, he's, he thinks the whole thing is a witch hunt. He agrees with Trump. So Trump gets his man. Sessions out! So fucking raw! Sparta! <laughs> You know, Trump people got to be happy, man. It's draining in the swamp. This is, this is big because because Sessions was a was a sandbag. He was a fucking he was sandbag in the Russian investigation, and Trump didn't like him. He didn't. He, could, he wasn't workable, and now he's out. I said, Fuck you, man. Fuck you. We'll see what see what Whittaker can do. It's better than, it's better than nothing, right? It's interesting because it comes a day after, it comes a day after an election where the the, the House. Goes into the um, into the uh, uh, house. The house goes into the <laughs> the house goes into the Democrat column, and the the uh, Senate uh, maintains uh, the Republicans. It's all very very interesting stuff. The timing and also the last uh, video I just made is where where Trump is basically saying we're going to investigate you whether you like it or not. So so he, so Sessions could no longer throw interference. He's got to get out of the way, right? This shit is going to start to blow up or go away. So I could tell you what's going to happen, right? And you might not want to hear hear this. I mean, everybody wants to see Hillary Clinton in, in uh, orange scrubs, but it's not going to happen. Everybody wants to see, well, half the, half the, of the lunatics in the country want to see Trump impeached. You're not going to see any of that stuff. It's over. Now it's business. That's what I see. That's my immediate... Uh, my immediate take on it. But the breaking news is Jeff Sessions has has uh, given his resignation to President Trump. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.